Hello peeps, in this video I am going to show you that how you can add PayPal smart button into your Shopify store. So this video is specific for down theme. If you have installed that then this video will work for you. So currently on my screen you can see that uh, I have the card page and here I have added PayPal button simple and then we have debit or credit card. So if I will refresh this page and it will still appear because I have added the code. Let me remove that code and then I will add it again. So here I have that code. So I am going to keep it original and then let me click on save these changes and now if you will refresh this page again then it will no more able to appear here. So here you can see that now these two buttons will disappear from the cart page. Can you see? So let me add it again. First of all you need to go to the Shopify dashboard and here you need to click on actions but before that you should confirm that this is down theme so here you can see that this is down theme version 2.3.0 and here we have actions click on actions then we have to click on edit code and once you are clicking on edit code this will actually open up your uh, backend folders and files and from that folder we need to find that file where we have the code of cart page all right so we have to wait for a while here we have some files and folders. You need to click on sections and scroll it down and down below you will be finding uh, man-cart-footer. Can you see this? Dot liquid. So you need to open this and this file is inside the sections folder. All right. Once you are opening this file, uh, then before uh, editing anything, you need to download a file. Uh, I have added the link below in the description so you should click on that and then download it and after that you should uh, you should open it in your text editor. So let me show you here I have that code which is down theme so I'm going to right click on it open with notepad alright so these are few steps which we need to follow. So the first thing is the first step is I need to add this code alright. So I'm going to add this script on the top. So here we have the first line. So in the first line you need to add this line of code. All right. Then in the second, the second step is you need to copy this script, which is from here to there. You need to copy it and then you need to paste it at the bottom. So here we have the place. I have uh, pasted it at the bottom. Then you have the third step which is which is uh, this one. So this is a single line of code which you need to copy again and then paste it just below the uh, checkout button. So here we have the checkout button and below this div element you need to add it here. All right. Then you need to click on save changes. Uh, but before that you need to also follow one more step which is uh, this fourth step which is some style inside of it. So let's copy this out and then paste it in the second line. So I have pasted it in the second line and then you need to save these changes and finally let's refresh this page again. Alright, so here we have the PayPal button and then debit and credit card button. If you will see in the mobile view it will look like something like this. Alright. One more thing is if you are interested to keep the checkout button as that as it is then you can actually delete this uh, none. For example name equal to checkout. So you can remove this code and then save the changes again. And now if you will refresh this page again. Now you will see that checkout button is also there. Alright. So this is one of the best way if you wanted to keep that checkout button as it is. Then you need to undo these changes. Save the changes again and then refresh it once again and now you will see that that button checkout is disappearing from here all right so if you are adding some more uh, products for say example this one and click on add to cart and then let's move ahead with the view my cart page and here you can see that we have two products and we have uh, paypal buttons over there one final thing that you need to do is you need to go to again main liquid file and here we have uh, client id equals to sb or maybe sometime you will see test in place of sb there will be test so you need to replace it with your 
PayPal client ID, which should be live client ID. All right, I will be adding the link below in the description, uh, the video from where you will find that how you can actually copy that uh, client ID from your PayPal account, or maybe create that ID and then after you need to paste it here. So in that way, the transaction would be done successfully. I mean, the payment would be uh, transacted transacted to the to your bank account in that way. I mean, your or genuine PayPal account would be linked through that client. ID. If you want, you can also change the currency here. So for now, we have US dollars. So, so I have written USD. All right. If you are interested to remove these buttons again, you can do one thing. You need to go to your file again, then click on older versions. And here we will be getting a drop down and then click on original. So in that way, all the additional code which you have added just now that would be removed. Then you can save these changes. And if you will refresh it once again, then you will no more able to see any button here and it will be default. Let me show you an interested thing which I recently created that is uh, a website which has a lot of tools. Uh, you can use it for free. So I have these tools, for example, keyword research toolkit. If you have a website, you want some keywords related to your website, you can actually explore it. For example, I have keyword volume checker. If you are interested to search any specific keyword, you will get proper detail of each and every single keyword like monthly searches, uh, cost per click, ad competition. Here we have the graph of last seven months searches. We have some volume data related keywords. You can copy these keywords. And we have also some uh, tools for YouTube tools. For example, you want to generate keywords. So for example, this is English speaking, click on generate. You will see that there are a lot of uh, keywords which you can generate. These are actually the tags, YouTube tags. You can filter it out and finally you can copy this from here and then paste it into your uh, video. Then we have uh, something like description. This is just description generator. You can actually edit these things and then finally click on generate and then you will see that these are uh, this is over here and you can copy again and then paste into your video description. So there are a lot of tools here which you can explore. For example, unlimited keywords. We have keywords for uh, e-commerce, keywords for publisher. Then we have keywords for digital marketers, website tools like uh, readability checker, word counter. For example, here you can see that we how beautiful this one is. All right. So this is live wor uh, word counter. So you can use it into your computer because these are free of cost. So you have no need to worry about any payment or uh, something like that. Instant keywords we have, for example, English, you have uh, Google, YouTube, Yahoo, and all the other search engines uh, where you can actually compare the keywords and copy and paste into your blog post or maybe YouTube channel. So that's it for now. If you are facing any issue, then please connect me. I have added the contact details below in the description. If you have any project to work on related to Shopify or any other related to coding, so you can ask me. I will definitely help you out with that. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you are new on this channel, then please subscribe this channel. Also like this video. Thank you once again. See you in the next video.